Shalom Aleichem, and welcome to Online Smicha. Parsha's Vezei Sabracha is the last Parsha from the Chamisha Chum Shatera. And there's beautiful uh, Pirushim, why the last and final words of the Tera are, Ulchol Hamayra Hagadol, Asher Asa Moshe Le'ene Kol Yisrael. The last three words, the last five, it's five, six words, Asher Asa Moshe, Moshe did Le'ene Kol Yisrael, and making sure all Jews, all Yidin, were able to see it. And the Ramban says, what do you mean, Moshe, Asa, Moshe made? Moshe didn't make it. So, so uh, the Ramban explains, Moshe exposed it in such a way that the Yidin should be able to, he revealed it to the Yidin, that they should see the open, revealed godliness. Moshe was the, the medium, the, the Mamutza that, that opened it up, revealed it to the Yidin, Lo'enei kol Yisro, how great Hashem is. And those are the final words of the Chamisha Chum Shetaira. And we know that in Sfarim it is written that Le'enei Kol Yisrael, the first letter of the last three words, Lamid, Le'enei Kol Yisrael, make up the word, make up the word Kli, Keli. Lamid from Le'enei Kol Kof Yisrael. Keli. That you want to know what the real Keli is how the choir Yiddishkeit and Torah is, is the Bereshis, is how we start again since the last letter of the word of the Torah is Lamid, and we right away start again Bereshis, Bays, which starts with a Bays, the, the Kaili, the true Kaili, how to acquire Yiddishkeit is Lamid Bays with a Yiddish hearts, a Yiddish hearts, devote your heart to Yiddishkeit, a warmth, a varmkeit. And that is what's most, most important. Rachmana liba boy. Others say that the connection between uh, the end of the Torah, the Ene Ko Yisrael, and Bereshis is obvious, as it's brought in Rabbeinu Bechaye also says that the Torah finishes off with the words, Tzarech Atel Adas, B'nei Sha Torah Machshavtam Sho Yisrael Kadmo La'elam, since Torah and Yidin, came before the world, as we know from the Kabbalah, Kabbala. therefore the Torah begins again with the word Bereshis and finishes with the word Yisrael to speak about the two races, the, 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 the Torah and the Yidin are both, are both what came even before the world, and the whole world was created for Yisrael and for the Torah. The Zaysa Torah, Asher Sam Meisel Vnei Bnei Yisrael, Torah Semes Shua Seilamim Lataiv Lanu Kolayamim. It begins with the Beis and finishes off with a Lamed to tell us that these are the two races, Torah and Yiddishkeit and Yidden is why the world was created. From Rabbi Baruch Mimezhebush, there is another shot that he says we finish off with the words Le'ene Ko Yisrael, and then we go to Bereshis to know in the Chassidus Shadahar that everything you are able to accomplish and grow in Yiddishkeit will depend in Le'ene Ko Yisrael. It will depend on where you keep your eyes focused. If a person allows his eyes to wander off and look at things that he shouldn't, it's going to be kind of difficult to uh, grow in Yiddishkeit. If Ene Ko Yisrael, you allow yourself only what's allowed and keep, guard your eyes, it shouldn't go to the wrong places, then the Bereshist and the Torah will come in much easier. Now, the clay Yakar says a beautiful pshat. He says, Shamaiti Oimrim, I hear, I heard people saying, why does the Torah begin with the letter Bez? and finishes off with the letter Lamed, says that the Kaleyaka are a phenomenal thing. These two letters, Bays and Lamed, are the only, one, only letters that if you take Hashem's name, Yud, K, Vav, and He, you, so you have the three letters of Yud, and He, and Vav. Those three, the He comes twice, but it's, it's, it's three, three different letters, Yud, then He, then Vav. If you take those three letters, those three letters to match it up, one, take the base, the, la, the last word, Le'ene Ko Yisrael, is a Lamed. So take the Lamed. You could match up the Lamed with the Yud. It will be Li. 
you can match up the Lamed with, with a Vav, it will be Loi, and you can match up the Lamed with a, 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 a Hey, it will be La. The same is the Bays. You could match up the Yud with the Bays, it will be B. You can match up the Bays with the, with a Vav, it will be Boy. And you can match up the a Hey with the Bays, and it will be Ba. Only these two letters. You could take Hashem's name, and it will create a two-letter word. What's the significance of it? Says the Kleyakar, what does Li mean? Li means it's mine. Hashem says the whole world is mine. The Yidden say Loi. That's correct. The whole, word is his, the whole world is His. And we know that Loi or La, it depending on the level of Shechina. The same is just as we finish off the, word, the title with the Lamed, Li, Hashem says it's mine, and we say, correct, it's yours. The same is with the Bays. Hashem says, Bays Yud, B, it's all ma, it's all me. And the Yidden say, Boy, it's yours. Ba, it's yours. That's the acknowledgement that Torah teaches a person how everything in the world belongs to Hashem. It is phenomenal that if you look in the Balaturim, the Balaturim makes, a, 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 the last Balaturim makes tremendous remuzim of the authenticity of Torah. The one I want to quote is, the Balaturim says there are 54 parshias in the Torah. If you take the first letter from all 54 parshias, it comes out to 700 and 91. What's the significance of 791? Says the Balaturim, Kiminyan, it's the same numerical value as of Udvar Hashem Beficha Emes, that the word of Hashem is holy, is true. And this is how you see Abriach Hatichain, that the inner inside of Torah, Mavriach Mina Katsa Ela Katsa, Emes doesn't, doesn't budge. Emes is Emes, it's a fact. And everything about the Torah is Emes.